I'm vegan. And I'm not. And my husband and I are going to be reviewing the Impossible Whopper today. Ashley Renee and welcome back to my sustainable and vegan YouTube channel where I show you how to live an adventurously green life. Now for those of you who don't know, I'm vegan, my husband is definitely not, but he has agreed to go vegan this week for one week only and only for lunch. So to kick off his vegan lunch week, we are going to do the Impossible Whopper. And the reason why I want him to try the Impossible Whopper first before he tries any other vegan lunches is because I want to show him that being vegan or at least reducing your meat consumption does not have to be some huge sacrifice or a big departure from what you're used to. So let's go ahead and blindfold him. Let's hear it. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right, well, this one first. Nope, okay, that's yours. All right, is this it? That is it. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like we should cleanse your palate first. All right. Text number two. Go for it. Mmm, this tastes good. So. Okay, this tastes really good. All right, once again, unless I'm off and I'm wrong, then we'll know. This tastes really good. I like it, I like. I, I can eat it up right now, no worries. But this is a vegan word. How did you know? Texture, again. Oh, uh, it's always the texture. Always the texture. It's always, if it was the taste, this actually, Actually, this one probably tastes better than this one. Really? Yeah. But the texture of hamburger, probably because I've eaten meat for so long. Yeah. You as soon as I that. ate this one, I already knew it was, you know, the meat one. But this one tasted really good. It's just that, that texture of hamburger meat, uh -huh. the dryness of it a little bit, you know, okay. just gave it away. Um, that doesn't take anything away from the vegan one. It tasted really really good so so as a meat eater what's more important to you in terms of meat alternatives is it the texture texture or the doesn't taste? matter texture is just what gave it away texture doesn't matter at okay. all it's all taste you know if it tastes good it's you know it's it's good i mean uh, nobody's like oh this texture doesn't taste like meats i don't know if i want it no if it tastes good it tastes good at the end of the day so really texture is the only thing that gave it away mm. Okay, so the texture gave it away because you are a seasoned meat eater, so you know the difference between your meat textures. Yeah, and I put season on my meat too. Hmm. You know, seasoned meat eater, you get it? Mm -hmm. But okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually, it tastes good. It tastes like a burger. It I tastes, mean, yeah, like you wouldn't know the difference. It tastes like a burger. It, the only thing, the only way you would know the difference if you were eating both of them back to back. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you would know the difference. Mm -hmm. If you're just eating it, you probably wouldn't know it's vegan meat. If you just ordered it, if somebody ordered a Impossible Whopper for you, they'd tell you it was one. Side note, for any fellow vegans and even vegetarians watching this, listen up. It's important to mention the Impossible Whopper was not created for us. It was created for meat eaters looking to try plant-based alternatives, which means special requests still must be made to make it vegan. So don't forget to ask that it's cooked separately from the grill where the meat is cooked, and tell them no mayo, because mayonnaise is not vegan. I cannot remember the last time I've had fast food, to be quite honest. I cook all of my own food, and for the rest of vegan lunch week, he'll be eating home-cooked vegan food. And in our next video, I will give you an update on how he fared during vegan lunch week, if he survived or not. What do you guys think? Do you think he's gonna survive vegan lunch week or is he gonna be begging to go back to eating meat for lunch? Oh, I'm still blindfolded. <laughs> You're yep. still blindfolded. Yep. Yep. That's our Impossible Burger Taste Test. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. I know this Impossible Whopper was highly requested, People also seem to want us to do a video on how on earth you're able to be a married couple as a vegan and a meat eater and how that works. So we'll do that video too. If there are any other video requests that you have, just put it in a comment below and I'll make sure to get it recorded. Until next time, keep on living an adventurously green life.